shut the front door. What? What is it? Tell us. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Leandra the TBR Zero and my goal is to lessen my physical TBR one book at a time. We are figuring out my April TBR today and that means I need the help of another booktuber. This time it's someone who has some very good observational skills. I have selected Observing Emma and her TBR game to help me figure out what my TBR is going to look like for the next month. If you're new here, you may not understand what I'm talking about. Basically every single month starting in 2024, I've decided to hire highlight a different booktuber who has a TBR game on their channel just to give them some love, show everyone else that this TBR game, this booktuber exists. So really the whole point is, is that you'll be watching me as I react, figure out what different types of prompts I have to participate in, any rewards, any punishments, depending on what this booktuber's game is all about. And then we'll figure out what books I choose. Your next goal, your next job is to, after watching my TBR, video is to actually go watch them, support them, go subscribe to them. And Observing Emma is someone that I've only recently gotten to know. As you'll see when we get into my reaction, I have only watched two of her videos so far and this TBR game is going to be the third one and I'm really looking forward to it. She's a Scottish booktuber and as you may know, I have a few Scottish booktuber friends that I really love. So without further ado, let's put these headphones on, let's watch what TBR prompts I'm going to have to do, and then don't forget that at some point you should be subscribing to Emma, because that's what I did. And she's a couple hundred away from a thousand subscribers, but she's growing very quickly, so you want to be among those who can say that they knew Emma before she got big. So uh, yeah, let's let's see what this game is all about. Just so everyone knows, the way that her video is set up is that she provides herself with all of the prompts, and then we watch her as she decides what books to read. So this is going to be a very clear cut video where we watch everything at the first half and then I'm going to continue watching because I want to support her and see what she ends up reading to kind of give me ideas of how I could interpret these prompts. But then I'll make sure to have us all say goodbye to her. So again, if you really, really want to see what books she ends up choosing for these prompts, you have to go subscribe to Emma and watch her video yourself. So please go support her because as I've tried to emphasize with every time I do this video that I am not trying to take away views. I'm trying to support another creator and just appreciate how creative they are. So yeah, so make sure you go do that and uh, enjoy the video for myself, but also Emma's video too. All right, so let's take a look. I really like Emma's aesthetic, if we're gonna stop and actually appreciate it for a moment. She seems to post every single Wednesday, that's her schedule, and you can see the videos that I have watched by her. So I did watch Castle Rules, my March TBR, just so I got the gist of the game. So I didn't go in completely blind when I watched her April TBR. I've also watched her reading vlog where it's just a smorgasbord of different life events. She ended up going to Glasgow for her Mother's Day kind of celebration with her mom and her sister, which was really sweet. And and we got to see her different reading tastes. She's definitely a romance and romanticy reader, but she delves into nonfiction as well. During this vlog, she ended up reading I'm Glad My Mom Died, and she found it a really thoughtful experience. And she also is a big like audiobook, physical reader, so she has a bit of a mixed bag in that case. And I'm just, I'm excited for you to see what her game is because it's very simple, but in the best way. And it definitely forces her to go outside of her comfort zone sometimes, which works out for me because that's what I'm trying to do with this entire experience. So let's just get into the video and introduce you to Emma. Guys, that's actually in spring. And I was like, well, that was quite scary. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> She's so cute. I do this every time. Let's just get started, okay? Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Emma, and today I'm bringing you... April TBR, Castle Rules, Castle Rules, baby. And I'm so excited about that because it's spring. We're in spring. Like spring has sprung officially in the UK because I checked it before I said this, right? Apparently spring started March 20th. I mean, yes. I'm very happy that it's spring as well. It's honestly beautiful weather here in Pennsylvania. I'm wearing red because it's the only colourful thing I own, apart from a blue shirt, but that was wrinkly, so I wasn't going to put that on today. If you don't know what Castle Rules is, it's this is a wee castle that I created, and I have different categories in each one of these wee turrets, and each month I pick one piece of paper from each turret, and that is a prompt for my TBR. If you want to know the categories for each turret, here Ooh. they are here. Pause to read. They and look really nice. Yeah, let's just get into it because I'm excited once again. First category is green, and green means genre. So, this is genre. 
I'm very excited about it for the strikes we could play the back there. Okay, green, let's pick I just genre. Love the Scottish let's see what accent. we get out of here. I want to kinda of give them a wee shuffle because I haven't first pick. Let's go for you. What is this here? This is Fantasy! <laughs> Very, very excited because I want to a fantasy book. I want to a fantasy book so bad. Part oh boy. Okay, so fantasy, obviously Emma doesn't know this because she doesn't know who I am, but fantasy is a genre that I am not super well versed in, but I'm trying to get more into. And there are some books that I'm already thinking about reading in April that do fit fantasy. So this works really well for me, although it is out of my comfort zone. It doesn't seem like it's out of her comfort zone because as I said, she's a big romanticy, fan row, romance type of person. So this is up her alley, but Okay, I, at least I can work with this because I'm I'm be kind of forcing myself to read fantasy anyway this month. All right, let's let's see what the next pick is. Shuffle as color on the cover or in the title. Give them a good shuffle and see what we get. Color here. on the I'm title. I'm actually trying to see if we can get a on color that's like in the title because I've not done that yet. I think it's only been like colors on the cover. I want that one because it's so far down and it's probably never came to the top before. So what have we got here? Gold gold okay okay fantastic here we have gold gold is the color okay gold is the color and what she said was that it can either be in the cover or in the title so okay so we're looking shiny we're looking maybe warm yellows all right so we've got fantasy and we've got gold okay 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 this is kind of fun gold is the color yellow yellow is item on the cover or in the title once again looking forward to it let's see these are all kind of bigger chunkier bits of paper so you need to give them a good shuffle yeah I like how she shakes it and they don't really move <laughs> go for one down the bottom because again you've probably never been to the top so let's I've given it a good shuffle there what is this one what is this one this one is I don't want to peek I also can't I'm peeking. unfold it build it oh my god are we getting a fantasy like thing this month because I'm obsessed buildings so we have buildings we have buildings, buildings which means like bridge castle bricks etc anything to do with a building architecture it's on there that is oh, unique you guys <laughs> you guys this is going really well i don't know if it's going really well for me i love how emma is buzzing about this and i'm like is this working for me uh, we're oh god okay 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 so buildings i think that there's quite a few books that i own or that are borrowed from the library that have that so i think i'm okay it is random anything can be in here red is literally anything again let's literally try literally anything move these around a bit so we can get one i can't do a scottish accent take you right take you again i don't want to peek what does that say books that match my nails and i've got spring nails today okay you probably won't be able to see it because it's red on it's not red on black it's black on red books that match my nails okay can we just appreciate how cute she is too oh my gosh i'm obsessed but on top of that i am not someone who does my nails in fact i actually usually keep them long and i did cut them short so if i had to i'd probably be like oh a short book but i would rather lean into the fact that emma's nails are very beautiful and spring-like with flowers so when i choose a book based on this prompt i'm gonna do it based off of emma's nails because that's yeah it's it's her nails so that okay we're, we're gonna see a fix there if you want to see my nails here they are so cute. Yeah, grown out i am due to go and get them done next month but this is what my nails look like then blue blue is physical so anything physical about the book it can be like cover oh. style all that kind of stuff blue I it was for physical tbr and physical physical who sang that was that madonna mm -hmm. was it was it kylie oh, i can't remember was it even anything i don't know let's go from the bottom again what is this? What is this? What is this? Shut the front door. What? What is it? Tell us. It says page count 601 up. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> I understand your reaction, Emma. That, I'm not someone who reads chunky reads. I'm not someone who likes a book with a booty. So, okay. Why is it? What? Oh, right. God. I'm stressing over nothing at the minute. That could literally be a romance book. But that's no, scary. No, it couldn't. <laughs> no, I'm so scared by that. Okay, this is the this is probably the first one when I'm like a bit apprehensive. Every other one, I've been like, yeah, yeah, go, yeah, top notch. That's scary. I done it to myself. 
I'm scared too. No, we and then the sixth book is our own fiction book, which I will choose at the end. So, oh, now that we have all of our categories, let's choose. Okay, let's go choose. Okay, it has been a few days, but now I'm ready to tell you what my TBR is going to be for April. The first prompt that we received from Emma was a fantasy, super open-ended, and fortunately I had a book that I have to read for a vlog anyway this month, and that is City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. This is a debut novel, a part of the Dave Abad trilogy, and I have heard good things. A lot of people love this series, love this author, and I am intrigued by the premise. I like that it's 18th century Cairo, that we have a con woman as a main character, Ottoman nobles are involved, so a historical fantasy definitely sounds like something I would be interested in. I am intimidated by the fact that it's adult fantasy, I'm intimidated by the fact that it's 500 plus pages, but I have to read it anyway, as I said, because for my Meet the Booktuber episode 4 vlog, I am featuring Joe from XO Joe, and this was one of the books she recommended to me. It's not the only fantasy she recommended to me either, and that next one is actually filling my second prompt. And that was gold on the cover or gold in the title. I ended up going with the former with Aidan Thomas's The Sunbearer Trials. I have been meaning to try Aidan Thomas for quite some time. This actual cover is gorgeous, by the way. Look at that gold. I did think that I was going to be starting with Aidan Thomas's Cemetery Boys, just because that's a title I hear more often that I've seen a lot of praise for. But this also seems really interesting to me, and I kind of like the way of starting off with an author I've been wanting to read, but in a quasi way, and then going back into their kind of earlier canon of work. So yeah, this seems really cool. It's a YA fantasy. It's the beginning of another series. So thanks, Joe, for making me start to do series. But I'm I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be really fun. I also have the audio for it. So woohoo. I'm pretty sure the third prompt involved building on the cover. So a bridge, a skyline, skyscraper, house, and this was a really nice prompt for me because I have a lot of books on my shelves or in my piles of interest that could have fulfilled this, but one of my many buddy reads with Danny this month fit it, so I'm going to count it for that, and that is Cascade Failure by LM Saga. So you can see I'm actually very far into it because it has been a few days since I recorded that kind of TBR game from Emma, and so I'm already into it, and we only have a couple more days left in our buddy read. It is a sci-fi adventure. There are a lot of interesting themes of found family, of capitalism, of the concerns about progress in the form of uh, cutting corners, of allowing progress to make us risk the lives of innocence, uh, kind of the upper 1% being evil. Yep, sounds about right. And yeah, so there's, I can't tell you too much about it because I do want to save it for my wrap up at the end of the month. But there are a lot of elements that I think would be interesting to a lot of people. And as you can see, it has that dilapidated a building that just looks really gorgeous. It is a really lovely cover. Uh, as I said, this is the first of three buddy reads that I'm doing with Danny. Uh, the other ones include Dead Dead Girls. That one's a historical mystery that I'm really looking forward to, 1920s. It's also sapphic, which is great. I'm doing that for a secret project, but Danny is kindly joining me for that. But then I'm returning the favor because for her own secret project, we're going to be reading The Wickwire Watch. And that one is a fantasy. I think she was telling me it was steampunk so that'll be outside of my comfort zone another fantasy this month I'm I'm really like leaning on the fantasy in 2024 for some reason hopefully we'll be reading that towards the end of the month uh those neither of those actually fit any prompts but we can add them to the tally of books I have to read for the month anyway the fourth prompt that Emma and I received was actually a bit more personal to her it involved her nail design at the time and those were pink flowers so she ended up leaning on a bit more spring-esque Kind of theme and my nails are actually very boring so I decided to borrow hers for the moment and I ended up choosing Elsie Silver's Flawless. This is the first book in the Chestnut Springs Canadian Cowboy Robot series. I am really lucky that I'm a part of a read-along for the next handful of months that is mainly created by Claire from Claire's Creative Corner, another Scottish booktuber by the way, Emma. And she, myself, and Brittany Loves Reading are reading one book a month with a bunch of other people and it's gonna be really fun. So again, had to read it anyway, so this works out really well. And I feel like you can see no matter what cover I end up showing you on the screen, it does give us spring vibes, flower vibes, and yeah, we're doing great. And now we get to the prompt that I think everyone was really concerned about when it was chosen because it's a prompt that I never fulfill. I don't think I have actually read a book that has fulfilled that prompt 
all of 2024 so far because I don't tend to lean towards the chunkier reads. The prompt was 601 plus pages. I actually have maybe five books in my entire personal library that would fit that prompt because I don't lean towards the bigger reads and I actually don't want to read any of them if I'm going to be completely honest. One of them that I'm I'm on the edge, I'm willing to acknowledge it might be the one I read but I actually like already know I'm lying to you. I'm a liar. That book is The Pillars of the Earth. This is a historical thriller. It is described as a thriller by some reviewers, so I actually don't know anything about it. It is so big. It exceeds 600 pages by so much, and I just, I don't know if I'm in the mood for something like that. I did get the audio from Libby, so like there is a possibility, but I'm, I'm just putting it out there to let you know that I recognize I could be reading this, but I'm kind of copping out. I'm I'm gonna cheat, okay? I'm gonna cheat. You're a liar, I'm a cheater, it's fine. The books that I'm actually gonna read for this are all by Earl Stanley Gardner. I was thinking that a way that I could change the prompt slightly to actually be more equivalent to what I like to read, my type of reading style, is that I could read 600 plus pages of one author. And that's actually a part of a goal that I do want to keep doing in my life is actually reading more than one book by an author because I tend to be a one hit wonder kind of reader. And so I've got three books all by Earl Stanley Gardner. This is a classic American detective fiction writer. He was the creator of Perry Mason, which became a TV series. And look, it could look like a one book, can it? If you just kind of squint your eyes, blur the screen a little bit, but then bam, I've got three titles. They're each about 200 pages. The books I would read are The Case of the Borrowed Brunette, another lovely cover. This is the month of nice covers, I think. The Case of the Shoplifter's Shoe. And then we have The Case of the Rolling Bones. I really have been meaning to read him anyway, and all three of these titles are a part of his main Perry Mason series. So that's another through line that I can lean on as far as the 600 pages being a bit more cohesive, but I just, yeah, your girl's gotta work up to it. I'm also, I know that this is, doesn't mean anything, but I'm also reading a 500 plus page fantasy already this month. So I feel like, come on, let a girl live a little and just change up the prompt a little bit. So yeah, I, probably I'm already gonna do that. I don't know why I showed you the pillars of the earth because there's no way I'm gonna read it. And finally, the last prompt that seems to be a staple in Emma's channel, because maybe she wants to read at least one nonfiction every single month, is nonfiction. And again, I am really lucky that I already had a nonfiction I wanted to read this month for a secret project as well, and that is Hood Feminism. It says, notes from the women that a movement forgot. This has actually been on my list of books to look into for quite some time, so I'm excited to read it. I think it's gonna be a great learning experience, a way to expand my own perspective on feminism, the very many intricacies of the feminist movements that have gone out throughout history, especially modern day. So I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really interesting. All right, those are the books that I'm going to be reading for the month of April. A huge thank you to Observing Emma for just having such a fascinating game, for uh, being so bubbly and really fun to watch. I can't wait to expose myself to more of your content later on in the year as I get to know you better. And I really, really highly recommend anyone who's gotten to the end of this to don't forget, don't stop here. Make sure that you check out the link in my description. Go watch her video. Watch and see what Emma has decided to do as her own interpretation of these prompts because we definitely have a very different a different looking TBR, I'm not gonna lie. So thank you so much everyone for getting to the end. I really do appreciate it and I hope that you consider liking subscribing, commenting, whatever you want to do. Maybe comment to me which books you think I'm going to like or which ones you're like, no, Leandra, we already know. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the next time. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a wee like, give it a wee thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, Emma. See you next time. Thanks for letting me play with you, even though you had no idea that I was playing.